a lot of stone. Miss Flappy Lips. <laughs> I told the, I told to my cousin that um, no discount because we are so key, you know, customer. Oh. <laughs> so that was need me ten thousand five hundred. That's for each truckload. So that was one thousand fifty. <laughs> Per square meter right and no discount <laughs> okay. so the most important thing that I'm happy about for today is that Arlie and Marvin the Martian have uh, began putting in the ground tie beams. That is something I'm pretty excited about because that is progress on the actual house. And uh, I bought them a tool that they were gonna need to be cutting this 16 mm bar. A little grinder, a hacksaw, wasn't gonna cut the tasks like they were doing with, with like the 10 mm. So I went to the hardware and I bought this. I picked up this, uh, so-called Bosch so-called Bosch I don't know I mean I don't really know if it's true Bosch is it Bosch or is it bullshit that's the one I don't know <laughs> now any I, I really am not sure it, it looks it looks to be a pretty good unit we test it out there um, I like it it's gonna come in handy a lot cutting this steel and uh, a lot safer for them as well. They got by for a while using a little four inch grinder cutting, but of course that's not the safest thing. So we needed this. We should have really already had it long ago. Happy to see the tie beams begin. Now folks, I know some of you watch other Philippine home building uh, vlogs going on, on YouTube channels. I do too. I sure do. I do too. Like James and Ness up there at my PI Dream. Man, great people right there, right? Really nice home too. Not everybody is planning on building as a high end home as what James and Ness did, but that's what they built and that's what they wanted. Some people want to build it really simple. Like there's a, a vlogger, Tito Tim, right down the road from me here, and yes. That is a Heineken. I have no guilt about it. First one I've drank, probably two months, one bottle of beer. Yep. Anyway, up the road here in Oton, it's Tito Tim. Him and his wife, they built a super simple little home, about half the size of my garage. I'm not, that, and that comment isn't meant in a braggadocious way, not at all. I'm not trying to say, oh, my garage is bigger than his house. That is not it. That's not it. Just saying that he, in his situation, built a really simple home. It's, it's a good home, but it's simple. That's what they chose. You know, different people want different things when they build here in the country. Um, some people, like myself, I wasn't just looking for um, an immediate solution. I was looking at long term. Some people, when they come here to retire, are older than I am, um, as much as 15 or 20 years older than I am. Well, their thought process may be different than mine. They're pro you know, they might be thinking, um, you know, I don't want to put too much into it. I'm not going to possibly be around a real long time. I just want something simple, enjoy, and just relax and finish out. Um, my years in this beautiful country so you got to look at that I'm I'm 51 years old and uh, of course y'all know I started on this project before I'm 51 years old so I'm looking at a little bit more long-term use out of it than what 
some expats, some foreigners here in the Philippines would be looking at and building a home. So going back to what I was originally saying, I do watch other builders and I know that you all probably watch other builders, not all of you. Some of you are my homestead group and my friends from the Crockers and other homesteaders there in the U.S. And I appreciate you all just sticking there with me. You can still enjoy some homestead and beach. So, uh, so nevertheless, some people don't know anything about building. They just go into it with blind faith and say, hey, Mr. Contractor Guy, build me a home. Here's my money. I'm going to try to learn a little bit and see if you're doing me right, but I really don't know. Well, there's one I'm watching that right now, and I'm not calling no names. I'm not calling no names at all. And uh, But I'm watching their vlog, and I'll tell you, personally, I just have a cow when I watch it, man. I'm like, holy crud. The corners that are cut, the, the BS, and the guy will even look at it, and he'll say, I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but... I'll ask my builder and you know the builder will say oh yeah and they do some horrendous stuff in the end they're gonna end up with a home um, they'll probably be happy unless something ever catastrophic happens like an earthquake <laughs> and I tell you what even the best built home can succumb to an earthquake but you got a better chance if it's built right okay and uh, that that particular vlogger does have something on me though for sure he's got better hollow block which I'm not using a hollow block other than on that CR behind me but uh, up there in their part of the country near the city more outside of Manila and around they got a better choice of materials of all kinds of materials than I do down here in the Visayan region. We're slowly getting there, but we're not there yet. And unfortunately I'm building and we're not there yet. So I've got to do what I've got to do to make this thing stronger, which means I'm pouring it solid concrete. So nevertheless, um, I watch all that go on and he'll kind of catch mistakes. And like I say, I'm not calling this guy's name, but he'll kind of catch mistakes, but He's like, oh, well, you know, and just go on. Well, I mean, some people, that's all right. I have that attitude. That's cool. That's good, you know. Um, but in my instance, I'm not going to have that attitude. Plus, I have been, um, I wouldn't say like top premier builder in the U.S., but I have been a builder in the U.S. And I've got a lot of working knowledge of building and engineering. And I say today, I had to just stop them. <laughs> stop them i'll show you what was happening that wasn't too bad but i'm gonna show you so these are things to watch out for so they are beginning the tie beams here along the ground now they're getting down to this corner column right here let me show you what i was out here observing so they were measuring and they were forming the steel down here they were making a little form in it to where the two would tie together right here but then he was sawing it off and they were about to take this little short piece right here let me roll it out with my foot there they were about to take this little short piece right here and he's got a little mark in the middle right right there see that don't look at my toenails see that right there and they were about to bend a 90 right there they were going to put that 90 right here in this corner it means you see how short that is? They would have had just a little piece coming out. And the other side, just a little piece coming out. And then they were going to cut bars and tie all that up. And that is a big, big no, no. So I told them, you need to bend this steel and bring it all the way through that column. And make the joint out in the middle out here. In between two of these. It needs to be out there. Not right here. Not right here. We have an earthquake or something, all that loads on that corner, boom, blow out right there, right on one of your key points. They said, there's no way to get the steel when it's bent in the 90 
through right there. I said, sure there is. You bend that 90 in it, you stand the steel up, feed it, and then roll it down and shove it right through there. They said it will not go. There's no way. I said, I'll tell you what, let's try it first with a piece of 10 millimeter and I'll show you the theory. So here's the piece of 10 millimeter that I bent with my foot and I shoved it right in there. I said, now let's do it with a 16. And they're laughing, smiling, watching and waiting for me to fail. And we slid all four of these right in there, putting our joint right there behind beautiful little doggy dog and put our joint right here in the middle yep and problem solved i told him be sure to do the same thing down there on that corner as well and we measured out and the other joint is going to land right 50 percent right there in the middle of that where the steel is going to tie together and that's the way it should be so this once again is why i'm telling you you need to be on site or you need to make sure absolutely that you have a contractor that is there not just he's there on paper and he leaves some foreman that don't really know in charge you need to make sure you have a contractor that is willing to dedicate his time on site to your job or you're going to have mistakes like that right there now that's going to be strong that's going to be correct they'll slide their stirrups on here now they'll get it all set up and that's what i'm talking about right there and we'll pay him a soon rate yeah, just a small amount more, and we got a way better worker. Your uncle hustles too, boy. The uncle, the the uncle, <laughs> the uncle across the highway. I can. I'm gonna tell Marvin that. Uh, oh yeah. The, the labor because it's too much labor, you know. Well, now we're gonna need a lot of people when it comes to mixing this cement. It is a lot of work. But on Monday, but of course, if we're gonna pick, mix over the year, we need to add more, but uh, we need to less, add, less, add, you know what I mean? Okay. I agree. Because it's too much labor, some people, some they just need nothing to do. Well, know? that one, what's his name? Yeah. I can less him. Yeah. Any chance he gets, he's resting on the shovel handle. Any chance he gets. I can less him. I'd rather to get any. Now, my guys here they have been building a lot of buildings and uh they worked on some big jobs some huge jobs here and uh they have got away with doing that kind of stuff um i see a lot of builders here in the philippines that do it right i see a lot of them here that do it right it's okay with me if there's a little thing here and there i have to catch um, I mean, I'm building this myself. I'm gathering family and local friends here, local community, to do my build. I'm not hiring a contractor. I'm not hiring a builder. I'm, I'm the boss here. I'm the jefe. I'm the main man. So that is my job, is to catch these things. And it's my job to, uh, to guide them. I, I'm not expecting these guys to be perfect. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, if I was expecting that, I would have put the money up for a builder, contractor, but that's not what we're trying to do here on our build. We enjoy the atmosphere with family. We enjoy the atmosphere with the local community right here. And that means that my money that I'm paying in labor is being injected into the family, cousins, uncles, brother-in-laws. You know, that's what I want. Um, they're friends that need work that are living right here and you know they're struggling in life that's where i want my money to go so i'm willing to watch after these things and deal with these kind of issues in order to do our bill it's okay with me the main thing is is i caught it i corrected it and we move on there was another little thing i caught too the stirrups not being uh placed right they were out of level 
uh, on the beam the beam would have been a little wavy they assumed that the top of where we poured those columns was level at the ground they're not a couple of them were a couple of inches off from each other we were dealing that rain wet mud y'all know the earlier build videos when it was just typhoon 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 and some of those didn't get poured even with others and um they had just assumed that all of those tops were level they tied stirrups right down to the top of that concrete on those columns where we had left off so they gotta make some adjustments but that's my eye that's me that's my job is to watch after that that's that's my point of being here so that i have as few mistakes as possible i'm not perfect either i'm probably going to make mistakes as well thank god for hammer drills and chisels right <laughs> it's just the truth so uh nevertheless that's my little story on a video for right now i wanted to share that that's um just information that i always push again and again it's not a perfect world but here where we're at in this country, look, look at what just happened. You say, well, my house might be here for 100 years and never be an earthquake. But there might be. Look what just happened at, uh, at Tau Volcano, right? So uh, let's look at that. Those people built all around that and never imagined of that just happening again, which I don't know why you wouldn't imagine that okay oh, it hadn't erupted in 43 years well if it hadn't erupted in 43,000 years I'd say maybe but 43 years that is a drop in the bucket in the scheme of things and let's look at the earthquakes happen like Nepal let's look what those big earthquakes that happened in Mindanao this past year right let's look at the earthquakes that's happened in Bohol um, all around these things can happen. We're in a ring of fire, seismic activity country. So if it's not destruction coming up from the ground, it's uh, tsunamis coming in from the ocean and typhoons, or it's volcanoes blowing, it's something. You get it from all directions. So if you're gonna build a big home here that's heavy, you've got to build it right. Um, we're not talking about a little bamboo or plywood structure or tin structure. We're talking about a heavy concrete building. It could become your tomb if something catastrophic happens. So build it right. Okay, well, I'm going to close out this video. And I hope all of you are having a great day. Want to tell them something, Linda? <laughs> on the spot video action. You always me put on the spot. <laughs> Thank you guys. I uh, hope you like this video. You look tired, Mal. Yes, I know. I look tired. My eyes, I don't like. My you don't eyes. like? Yeah, my eyes really tired. You're saying, take the camera off my face? Yeah, take it off. Say now. No, no. I'm tired. Look <laughs> at my face. I don't like it. Okay. Really. Hey everyone, first of all, I want to thank you all for watching our videos and supporting our channel. If you haven't already done so, please do Mel and I a big favor and go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, always comment and always hit that like if you got something good out of our video, hit dislike if you didn't, we don't care either way, show how you feel out there, right? Well again, we very much appreciate you watching us. I know that we cover multiple of topics, we cover home building in the Philippines, we cover farm life in Texas, that's the dual lives right there, beach life Philippines, farm life Texas rent houses in Texas, building in both places. We cover solar and we cover traveling. We cover living a multicultural life as well. So if you enjoy any or all of those things, and a little bit of travel and all, again, please hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. We continue to grow because of great supporters like you.